to all you arachnophobes out there. I'm so sorry, but I am living for the spiderweb team. Hello everyone, my name is Hilda and welcome back to my channel. I'm all zoomed out because I have this bag, a skull, and then, oh my god, can I lift this? Ugh, this giant box from Tiger! So today is a haul and after the haul there will be um, footage from source, but I kind of figured out that like, maybe people are just here to see what I got rather than what's in the stores in Antwerp. Um, I got footage from both tigers, because there's two of them, and then the Primark, and those are the only places right now that had Halloween out end of August. I was so happy! But yeah, let's get into this haul. Um, let's start with the, the skull. So I see a lot of people on the gram who have a cute skull. But I don't actually like the Halloween skulls with the black eyes. I think it's just so unrealistic. So what I bought was a anatomical study sc uh, skull. And in theory, you can take the top of his skull off, which I didn't do. His jaw moves, but I pulled it a little bit too hard and um, it has, I don't know if you can see it. I don't know what this thing is called in English. Um, you know, we call it a resort <laughs> or a ver. Um, so I don't know, but um, you know, it's one of those coil, a spring, a coil spring. But yeah, I pull it a little bit too hard and I kind of try to push it shut again. But sometimes his jaw kind of falls down. So I'm just holding it and it doesn't matter because when he sits somewhere, it's fine. When I hold him like this, it's fine. So yeah, this is my skull friend. I have called him Yorick, which is probably the most cliche name for a skull. And I'm not even a Shakespeare fan, but I just thought it was funny. Also, um, my doctor, my, the general practitioner I see, is actually legit called Yorick. I'm not pulling anybody's leg. Um, and we have like a running joke that I will bring a skull. Um, so if, <laughs> it, I mean, I am gonna take the skull next time I need. Uh, you know, I need to see him for a prescription or whatever. And I'm gonna take it and it'll be like Yorick, meet Yorick, and it'll be funny. Um, in my mind, it's funny. And he will probably laugh about it because he has a great sense of humor like that. But for now, I'm putting Yorick down. And then I'm taking out my trusty gelatoni shopper. If you are wondering where this is from, this is from Tokyo Disney Sea. I bought it in 2017. I don't know what the current iteration of the gelatoni bag is, but um, they're always good. Don't, I mean, if, if you find yourself with the opportunity to buy one of the really sturdy canvas Tokyo Disney bags, just do it. I mean, if it's a design you love because they're so sturdy and I use this all the time. This has been washed like a hundred plus times and still looks like new, but I digress. Enough about this bag, let's talk about this one. I have enough tote bags. I really do. And the tiger ones are usually not the best quality, but I liked it. It has ghosts. Look how cute it is. So uh, I will probably just put my collapsible seat in here. Um, so the bag doesn't, you know, get too worn out too quickly. Then I have this. This is also from Tiger. And sadly, I do not have the batteries for it because it doesn't use standard batteries, but it's basically a flashlight that lets you put different things up front so you can project images. And um, it's just like one of those stupid kid store things. I mean, like, if this is your jam, obviously not looking on anybody's jam, but I got it to play with Kiwi, who loves lighty things. So it has a black cat on blue, an orange pumpkin, well, a jack-o'-lantern on orange, a bat on green. And I hope it's focusing on everything. Because I can't really make it focus right now because I have my hands full. And then the final one is a ghost on purple. They're very cute images. And um, if Kiwi doesn't like it, I'm going to give it to my nephew, who's like turning five. So he'll love it. Then this I kind of got for the cats because like they keep on scratching all the things. So I got this, um, what is this? Like kind of braided flax. 
raffia tape. I don't I don't know. It's kind of like sort of it's not wood, but it's some kind of vegetable thing. Some kind of plant-based item. And um it's a pumpkin and I got it at Primark. It was dirt cheap, like two euros maybe. I had I took the prices off, which was Probably not the smart thing to do, but yeah, I, I've given it to the cats and, uh, well, I will be giving it to the cats and then they can scratch this all they like and leave my own decor alone. Hopefully, <laughs> probably not. Then this, I need to put batteries in, but um, this should, why is there a random sticker? This should light up, even if it doesn't, I think it's well pretty as is. Um, and this was also from Primark and this was 10 euros if I'm not mistaken, so for Primark, this is more on the expensive side for Tiger as well. But it is just very, very pretty and kind of like more classy. And yeah, uh, I will find a spot for it downstairs somewhere. And then this guy lights it up. Looks like this. I can light it up with one hand. Yes, I can. So yeah, I kind of almost like it better without the light on because it's more... I don't know, it looks more classy, whereas with the light on, it's just... Ah, oh, it's hard to do with one hand. Uh, it's just, I don't know, kind of over the top. Let me know in the comments down below, which one do you like better? Light on? Or light off? I do think I prefer light off. Yeah. I also got like this garland at Primark, but it's already downstairs where it's gonna live. Well, at least till Halloween is over. So I will insert a clip right here. And so yeah, for the garland, uh, this is this is the one, and uh, it's very lengthy. It has a lot of details, so I'm going slowly, so you can enjoy the beauty that is this garland. It was like 15 euros, I want to say, maybe less, but it's very autumnal. It's not Halloween per se. It's more like autumn, harvesty. You could even use this for Thanksgiving, which we don't celebrate. Um, it's not a Belgian thing whatsoever, but, you know, if you happen to have a Primark near you and you do celebrate Thanksgiving, this might be a good thing. And it has these loops on both sides, so you can hang it up if you want to. Next, I have four boxes of these, but one is already in use. And <laughs> I'm just going to show you the one. And this is literally 400 little Halloween stickers, or like wee stickers. Um, like, if you have Euro monies, uh, I would say nearly a five cent piece big. But yeah, they call it a roll. And they've got quite a few designs. I think they have like nearly 10 designs. I don't know. I will have to check. I will, I will get some, um, footage of the actual roll in a second. But yeah, got four of these. And they were a Euro for 400 stickers. I was like, yep, yeah, gib for journaling purposes. Here's a box that is open. Um, it has, uh, an opening here so you can pull it through and then these are all the designs i'm not sure if it's focusing on them i'm trying my best so you got the ghost and i know there's three bats ah disaster yeah there's several and they're very very cute i mean for the euro for 400 of these brilliant right i mean come on this is so good I'm well chuffed with these. Um, Primark in the UK, well, Primark is British, of course, so they did get it earlier. They got it like last month. And my friend Will, Spooky Will of October 31st, he posted it on his Instagram because he got like loads of other things. There's lots of stationery items, which you will be able to see if you stick around for the vlog, the in-store portion. Um, and I was like, well, I have to have those. And um, thankfully, Thankfully, Belgium has caught up with the fact that it is now spooky season. Finally. Spooky season starts July 5, people. I mean, if you want to go for all summer and ignore the spooky, you do you, obviously. But for us spooky folk, we like our spooky things available, you know, as soon as possible. But yeah, I'm now going to take out a lot of packaging materials and make a big giant mess of my poor studio. Good grief. Valentine, if you're watching this, do you want this stuff? My friend Valentine is um, 
an amazing artist. And she makes the most amazing brooches and creatures in paper mache. And she also does illustrations and whatnot. So um, I'm like kind of hamstering packaging materials for her because, you know, otherwise they get chucked and then she can still use them with orders. So, you know what I mean? That's why I was like, hey, Valentin, if you're watching this. <laughs> but yeah, first item I got out. This is actually one of the more uh, expensive ones. Uh, be right back. I'm going to get a knife. Okay, I have returned with my irresponsibly sharp knife. Uh, this is a garden knife from Villa and Camillo, and they're $6.95 because I never bothered to take the price off. Um, if you have access to Villa and Camilla and are in need of a very, very sharp blade, 100% recommend. But be very careful because they are very sharp. This is actually the newer model. The original one, the blade was curved slightly differently and that was way sharper. So I'm constantly regretting the, you know, the, the, the rehash, so to speak. But yeah, this is just a stacking game. And I'm probably going to have to insert footage of me actually playing with it here. But um, for now, it is still all in plastic and it's kind of like, I suppose a Jenga, but a skull with bones, so I had to have it. I've wanted a stacking game for a while, and I've been looking at, what is it called, Catastrophe, um, with all the cats, because that looked so cute, but then I saw this guy, <laughs> and he was cheaper than Catast Catastrophe, wow, of course. Um, so I was like, well, spooky all year round, right? So I got... Um, the stacking tower balancing game. Instead, there's also a dog one by the same brand that does Catastrophe. So I'm um, putting it out there for people who are not vibing the spooky. Or at least not uh, as crazy as I am, because if you're not vibing the spooky, you won't be here, right? So next up, this is just kind of like the standard tiger wrapping paper. Um, the crinkly paper, and I'm gonna give this to my cats because they are obsessed with crinkly paper. But yeah, I got this absolutely ridiculous cat mug. It's not very pretty. Um, it's probably not the best drinking mug ever, but I got it because my cat Salem is kind of like a scaredy cat cat, and he's a black cat, and he also loves pumpkins. He's obsessed with pumpkins. He has so many pumpkin toys and he constantly asks me to knit him like tiny pumpkins to play with. Um, so I kind of want to put this in front of his face and just be like, look, it is you as a mug, just to see his expression. And with some luck, I will even catch it on camera, in which case it will be at the end of this video. I will do a good attempt in any case. Okay, I ordered a couple of mugs. I actually have too many mugs already, but does it stop me? Clearly not. But um, I've reached a point where I may have to give some mugs to a friend. But also I use them as, um, you know, pencil jars. So I kind of find a use for it all the time. So this is this year's tiger bug, which is super cute. Uh, it's very fun. Um, yeah, it's not like a traditional cutesy cutesy jack-o'-lantern face, but it's a lot cuter than last year's. Last year's was not that great, but this one, I am really, really vibing. So I'm happy with this. They're not very big, but um, I usually just use them in the bathroom, you know, as a mug for teeth brushing. All right, next up is this year's jack-o'-lantern. I will quickly insert a picture of last year's here. And um, yeah, something inside. So I'm gonna take that out first. Marsh, if you're watching, this is this year's. The very cute one from last year is not back. And uh, it has a green handle instead of a black one. My friend Marsh of Halloween Homemaker, oh my God, they have the best Halloween home. It's amazing. And their jack-o'-lantern collection is out of this world. So if you love jack-o'-lanterns and like treat bales and just amazing, amazing year-round spooky homes, follow Marsh. I will have them linked down below because they are flippin' amazing. Okay, don't shout out my friend. This is a, you know, just like a tea light holdery thing. 
And I will put um, a battery operated one in there because I have three cats and I don't trust them with an open flame. But I'm quickly going to see if I happen to have one in my studio. So be right back. And I did. Of course, this is not a real candle. This one does flicker. I believe that this is one from Ikea, but I might have gotten it with something else, but you get my point. And yeah, it kind of looks like this. Of course, the light is on. Um, the studio light is on, which is why the light is a bit weird because it's a very rainy and blustery day. But yeah, this is super cute. I like this. It also has an opening here to get more heat out. Um, so yeah, good show. I like it a lot. Now I have to figure out the off switch of this guy. Okay, got it. But yeah, candle, well, candle holder. Loving it. And that's also like kind of that same design face-wise, well, the mouth. Apologies that the framing is suddenly somewhat different. I had to take the camera off the tripod to um, change the battery um, as these things go. But yeah, next item, I kind of feel like this looked slightly less gross on the product photo, but this is a strawberry flavored jelly brain. Um, it's the bloody brain. I have not seen these in store. Um, yeah, I, I'm not sure if I want to use it for photos or um, try this on a separate video with my eldest niece. Maybe I can do both. No, as you did see, let me wait. Wilt je een video filmen met dit ding? Ja, yeah, my niece actually, you know, doesn't really speak English yet. She's too young for that. So, uh, hence the Dutch. But I basically asked if you see this, do you want to do a video with me with this thing? But yeah, Jello Brain, um, which will get used one way or another. Now this. Do I have enough napkins? I do. Um, but there's a very specific reason I bought these. They're plant. And <laughs> every single year, uh, Sam of Halloween Happy does 100 Days of Halloween Happy and there's always a prompt that is plaid and I don't have any plaid items bar one skirt which is way too, no sorry two skirts which are both way too warm to wear right now even for a picture so I figured why not get these plaid napkins and I will find a way to actually use these. And that was all that was in the pail, but these fit quite a lot. Um, I'm not sure if I would buy next year's pail. If it's like super cute, like way cuter than this one, I will probably replace one. But otherwise, I think I might just stick to the both I have because I don't need another one. Now this is, I, <laughs> This is glow-in-the-dark cutlery. It's like spooky cutlery. And um, yeah, I kind of got it as like cutlery to take along. Now this knife is, there's skeleton hands. I'm not sure how well that shows, but this knife is very funny, but I'm not sure how well it will cut. It's not that sharp. So I might have to take another plastic knife instead, but the spoon is fun and the fork, <laughs> What in tarnation? This was this was very, very cheap. Is there a price on here? No. But um Yeah. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I, I'm just gonna go out and say it. I'm a doofus. Okay, this I wanted last year, but it was always so big and heavy, and I didn't wanna well it's not heavy, but it's big. And I didn't want to carry it around because it's so big. So, um, oh yeah, this needs batteries. I don't think it comes with batteries, so I can't turn it on. It's three AAA batteries. And as you can see, it kind of flickers and doesn't give off that much light. But then again, it's also not dark, so who knows? But it's really fun. I like it a lot. It's cute. But it has like an LED candle in here. And then these spiders. <laughs> matches my outfit. Um, but yeah, I, I just really love it. And of course, this is plastic. It's not like the gorgeous metal ones you see at places like Joanne's. It's pretty inexpensive, but it's just so pretty and I really, really love it. So um, also, my friend Chelsea, she does uh, Be Kind to Spiders Week every year. 
And um, I've been kind of like getting more spider items for the prompts. Chelsea, please do a lamp prompt because I am all set. <laughs> I am shouting out all my friends and I have zero regrets about it because shouting out your friends is fun. Also, that you have no new people that you could follow if you wanted to. This is a door sign, just a simple door sign. It says trick or treat, has a spider, um, just MDF. So uh, maybe don't leave it out too long or at least treat it first. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray all my MDF items with Nikwax Solar Spray. I will say Nikwax Solar has been renamed because they added so many more project products to their range. Um, I did get there in the end. So I don't know what it's called now, but I still have solar. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna spray this before I put it outside. I will say this is kind of like my spare sign because my classmate Chris has given me a couple of years ago, this oval MDF plank and it's way thicker than that. It's like three times as thick. And I've just painted it front and back and one side says trick or treat and the other one says we're out of candy. Um, but in Dutch. Um, but yeah, so this is kind of the spare one if something happens to that one because it was so cheap and it was nice and you don't see those everywhere or better said every year. So I figured if I get it now, I will have a spare and then we're all set. Um, but yeah, I have another black cat bug. I regretted not getting this last year and when I saw it had returned, I just had to get it. And this is just a simple tall mug which is sadly a wee bit damaged here, but it's barely noticeable and it's fine. And yeah, and it looks so skeptical. This is like the cartoon version of Salem's usual face. Like, I kid you not, this is literally how he looks most of the time. You should have seen his little face when I unpacked my remote control chopper droid. I will do a video about that another time, but it, and I was like racing it around the living room and he was just like <sighs> this, but on a real cat. <laughs> Seriously, he, he was not impressed at all. Speaking of MDF signs, I've got three more. I'm gonna open the package so I can actually show it to you. They're sort of on there, but not really. Another one of these black cats. And like the other sign, I will be spraying this with Nikwax Solar Spray, but I like that it's reversible, so you can point the arrow either way and still have the cat, the full glory of the cat. Um, yeah, this is so fun. Um, this is definitely going in my front yard, but I am probably gonna keep them inside till later in the season and not like end of August because I'm worried about the weather ruining them because they're so fun and this they're all reversible by the way but this has the um well they all have this wooden bit but this is on the arrow so it doesn't matter that much and if the black bothers you if you want to point it that way you could just paint over it but this is slightly more of a problem but i guess it doesn't matter because it has no arrow to point and then this trick-or-treat one yeah, that is just, yeah, I, I feel like the, they could have done a better job because if you want to point that away, you have a problem. You can only point it this way. So um, yeah, I want to use this as well. And um, I just realized that if I want this to point to my front door, I'm going to have to put it next to my front door in like uh, a flower pot or something. Um, <laughs> Because otherwise, it's not gonna go well, because then it will just point to the neighbors. <laughs> Maybe they'll be doing, you know, handing out candy as well this year. I need to check. And then, um, maybe it doesn't really matter where I put it. Let's see, is there anything else in here? Oh, yes. I saw this and I really, really wanted it. It's not big. But look. It is a little like cupcake stand or like a tiny pie stand and it has spider webs on it. So um, maybe I will get like, put the jello brain on here with a napkin <laughs> and do an aesthetic picture, but probably not. But I, I will be using this and not just for pictures because it's fun. I like it. 
You could put some candy on there and stuff. Because I haven't seen that in stores anywhere. So uh, let me dig around. No, this is the final item and it is another tote bag. Now this is a repeat from a couple of years ago. And um, I hope the quality is still the same because that one actually doesn't shrink doesn't end up a complete wrinkled mess, you know, balled up mess. And um, it's actually pretty sturdy and I've used mine and washed mine so many times since I've had it. I think I got it in 2021, maybe 2020. 2019 was the back one that I remember. And that one was also very good. So uh, this is 2020 or 2021 that they originally released it. But when I saw it was back, I had to have a second one because they're so good. Unboxing video aftermath. If you thought I was joking that I would turn my studio into a giant mess. Nope. It's a giant, giant mess. A hot mess. And there's my cozy Halloween sofa. Hooray. That uh, blanket that's on there is from Next, by the way. And that was it. That was all the Halloween stuff I got this week. <laughs> um, so yeah, I have gotten bits and bobs before and um, yeah, lots full of those. So sorry about that. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments down below. What was your favorite item? Are we item twins? Is there something that you want to get yourself? Um, and yeah, Halloween, love it. Spooky year round.
will be cats as soon as I stop talking. Hopefully Sal I'm reacting to that one bug. <laughs> this one. This one preferably because it's so ridiculous. Maybe I'll just put both black cat mugs in front of them and be like, take a pick. Which one do you like best of? Which one do you hate? In his case, which one do you hate the least? But yeah. I'm gonna stop rambling. Subscribe if you want to stick around for more shenanigans in motion. Hit that notification bell um, because I've realized that YouTube just does not tell you um, when somebody you following, you subscribe to is uploading a new, has uploaded a new video rather. Um, what I've noticed lately, and that is so annoying, I'll find a new um, YouTuber via friends, uh, mostly via friends, and I'll be like, oh, this person is so fun. And then I'll subscribe to them and YouTube will not show me any of their videos. Well, whilst I'm not subscribed, they will suggest every single video. But when I'm subscribed, they're just like, nope, unless I hit that notification bell. So that's really annoying because I feel like, especially for small YouTubers who are not like me, who are not in the um, the partner program. I mean, like I make zero money off YouTube. I, they probably smack ads in my videos for which I do apologize, but I don't make any money of them. I don't have the subscriber number for it, but they're doing it on purpose. So it's even harder to reach us with uh, subscriber level. Jesus, I cannot speak. But yeah, you know what I mean? So I'm just pointing that out. If you actually want to see my videos, please subscribe and hit the notification bell because that is the only way to guarantee that after a week, YouTube will actually still show you my videos when I've uploaded. Um, and that rumble aside, I will now sign off and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Enjoy the cats. Bye-bye. So I can't find Salem, but I know where you open Kiwi are. So does this look like your brother? What do you think? Does this look like your brother? What do you think? Mm -hmm. I believe that is a yes face. Oh, you're pushing it away? You're like, make it be gone. <laughs> do you not feel like this is what your brother looks like all the time? You f you feel like it's is he's more this one, yeah. Okay, Kiwi feels this is more accurate, and now she feels like she's had enough, and that they need to groom. Her brother needs to be cleaner. But yeah, we did not get a solemn comparison, but we did get these two. Look at how cute they are. <laughs>